Hi, I'm Roger Montgomery from Montgomery Investment Management and welcome to another edition of our Value Investing Video Insight Series. This is one of our whiteboard series videos where I'm going to show you how you can go about investing better yourself. Today I want to talk to you about something a lot of investors leave aside. Many investors take shortcuts. There is no room for shortcuts in successful investing. What they tend to forget is the calculation of cash flow. Yes, return on equity might be high, yes, the profit might be growing, and intrinsic value might be good. But the reality is that you also need a company generating strong cash flow. Happily, it's easy to calculate cash flow straight off the balance sheet. While the cash flow statement gives you the information you might need, there's another way to calculate cash flow that helps you understand the business a whole lot better. In order to do this, I want you to imagine for a minute that you own your own business. I want you to imagine that you kick the business off, you start running it for a year, and at the end of the year, the cash in the bank account has risen from $100 at the start of year one to $200 at the start of year two. Okay, all things being equal, all things being equal, let me ask you the question, how much money did this company really make? So after everything's been spent, after all the tax has been paid, after everything's been done, this company has increased its cash balance by $100. Okay, the company made $100. What if, however, in addition to this information, I also told you that the company's borrowings had gone from zero in year one to $100 in year two. In other words, the company has borrowed $100. What that means is that the $100 increase in cash is totally and completely due to the borrowings that the company has taken on. In other words, because that amount has gone up by $100, the net result is break even. This company has made no money this year. There's one more piece of information I need to tell you. What if the company also had some capital injected? So at the start of year one, $100 was injected, but in year two, $200 had been injected. In other words, that had increased by $100. That's a negative effect on our cash flow. In fact, now what we've discovered is the company has actually lost $100. And finally, we'll take a look at dividends as well. If we've discovered that the company paid out $200 as dividends, and that's from year one. Then what we know is that the company didn't actually lose $100 at all. The reason why the cash balance is only up $100 is because $200 has been paid out as a dividend. And so what we do is we add back the $200 and we end up with a total cash profit for the company for the year of $100. And that's how you calculate cash flow from the balance sheet. If this has gone a little bit quick for you, play the video again, see if it makes sense. If not, there are more examples using JB Hi-Fi and ABC Learning Centers in my book Valuable. And you can download Valuable from the link on the home page here. Keep following us on Facebook and Twitter, and I look forward to seeing you next time.